competitive side of him. He's kind of competitive by nature, and one thing led to another, and here I am. So, yeah, <laughs> it's kind of a, a long journey. So let's go into the other half of the men's draw now. Look at two archers from Europe, one a veteran of the tour and another in his international debut season. Both have stage wins to their names in 2017, so it'll be really interesting to see who comes out on top here. First up, just 20 years old, representing the Netherlands, Steve Whaler. Ranked number nine in the world this year, has been ranked as high as eight earlier in the season. And this is his international debut. And he will provide some stiff competition for this man, like Ellison, a really well-known face and name on the World Archery Tour. One bow over his shoulder, warrior-like, as he walks onto the field of play. A runner-up in Mexico two years ago in 2015. This is Jean-Charles Valadon of France, ranked number two in the world this year. So Alexandre Vecchio will take charge of this match as he will do all afternoon. He beckons the two archers back to their coaches to pick up their weapons and I fancy another tight match here again, Steve. Yeah, we could have a good one. Uh, Steve Weiler, you know, my understanding is they uh, they kind of discovered him. He was a, I'm, I'm probably way off base here, and I hope I don't offend anybody, but he was just kind of a guy who shot in his backyard and in the fields around his house, and he was very talented, so uh, Ron Vanderhoff, the head coach, brought him in, and and he shot a little bit on one of their Olympic days or, or something along those lines and showed some real talent. So they got him training with them and ate their start. And, uh, you know, within a year, he's on their team and his first ever World Cup, he wins. <laughs> yeah, to the stage in Shanghai. Valadon, the winner in the following round in Antalya where he defeated Ellison, actually, in a really terrific match on the beach there. And, uh, he's a tough competitor, and uh, he's found his first 10 of the match. So Rayla needs to do the same, and he does. So 10 will give the first set to Raylia of the Netherlands. Doesn't look too happy with that, but he's caught the line, I think, with that. Yeah, they're going to take a look at that one. Yeah. Given as a nine on the scoreboard without the asterisk that you normally see for a query, but I think they will look at it. In fact, they are. Resorting to some technology. Yeah, it looked like there was a bit of a, of a you know, a hole from, from the arrow, but I don't think it was actually in on that line. Yeah. They kept it at a, at a nine, so all square at one. So Weyler, who has two medals already on the World Cup Tour this year in Berlin, a uh, team silver, and that individual gold in Shanghai in the first stage. Valadon to take us into the second set. With a ten. Mm -hmm. 
Second arrow is an eight. Yeah, he got pretty low on the clock there. Might have had to rush it off just a little bit. Good job, all the team. Hey, come on. Hey, the last, uh, Steve. The last is in at the hoogste van de kruis. Dat moet niet echt iets heel laag. Kom maar, tik je man. Maladon can't really afford anything less than a ten. Looks happy with it. Yeah. He gave a little affirmation there on release, it looked like. Nine for Rega, so 28 points each and two set points each. Yeah. We said it would be close. Yeah, this was the one, huh? This is the one we thought would be a tough to call. A close match. Well, that's quite the camera angle. They had a uh, you know, tight shot on, on John Charles' glasses there, showing everything in reverse. Yeah, but with the hat on and the glasses on, he cuts a very inscrutable figure on the shooting line, doesn't he? <laughs> Tough to get a read from him if you're his opponent. Yeah, it might be a, you know, kind of a comfort thing for him, too. You know, you hear about people who are more comfortable with glasses on and you know, or, or sunglasses especially. And could be that way for Jean-Charles. Something in the, the Robocop about that look, isn't there? Only an eight. Eight for Wager as well. So These guys are matching each other. Nobody can get away. Long hold again for Baladon. Yeah, Too long. Yeah. Out in the sixth ring. So maybe this is the set where someone takes an advantage of a wobble for um, Raylia as well and uh, he's in the A but uh, he's got two points on Valadon now. Recovery of sorts. Mm. That's thrown him a little bit hasn't yeah. it that six. Yeah something's going on there with his shot execution where he's taking so long on the clock and just not getting, not getting good shots down. So, the 20 year old from the Netherlands is into a 4 2 lead against the 2015 runner up, Valadon. For all that, you wouldn't necessarily say that Valadon was out of it. You can quite easily see him land three tens now, yeah, such right. as his class, yeah. and, and bring it right back to, to four all. Yeah, he might just have to figure something out or you know get comfortable. Something's going on, but you know doesn't doesn't prevent him from shooting like you said three tens right now. Down the middle of the target, but too low. Same for Weyler. Valadon hasn't found the tent for four shots now, and he'll want to get back in the gold with this one. Manages it with a nine, so Weyler's got to up his game a little bit here too. Remember, Valadon has to win this set. It's a 10. 
That's an important shot. Because Wheeler has a point advantage now. Eight for Valadon. Yeah, not a not a great match for Jean Charles. No, not at all. And it's a nine for Steve Wailer of the Netherlands. And he takes the match by six to two, which is a wider margin than we might have predicted. What a debut season for the 20-year-old from the Netherlands. He won the first stage of the season in Shanghai, and he's off and running for a shot at the World Cup title here in Rome. Valadon, a runner-up in 2015, is out. Steve Wehler of the Netherlands is into the semi-finals of the 2017 Hyundai Archery World Cup. Gosh, Valadon's going to be a disappointed man. Yeah, he's probably going to be searching for something. You know, I wouldn't be surprised to see him walk out of here and go straight to the practice range and fire a handful of arrows, figure out what was going on. It could have just been, and likely was, just you know some match nerves, but he's going to he's going to be disappointed, man. So Steve Whaler is through to the semi-finals. That was the tightest match to predict, I think, and it's uh, many would have put some money on Valadon, but actually it's the Dutchman who's who's got through there. You're, you're right, and we uh, we predicted it would be tight. I, I predicted the winner incorrectly, but that was the one I thought I would probably be wrong on if I was. <laughs> I'm hoping to see a, a good match here. I think this one could be a fun one. 